Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tegan and today we are doing a rather late, another rather late video. Today we're going to be doing my rather late book haul. Some of these books you're probably going to recognise if you've seen my TBR video, but these are just all the books that I've kind of bought within the past two months. Some of them I really shouldn't have, but I just can't help myself sometimes. So kicking it off with continuation from my last book haul is the remaining books of the Magic Thief series. You got the second book, Lost, which I'm currently reading through. You have Found, very aptly named, and then Magic Thief Home, which is the fourth book. There is also like a uh, short story novella um, between Lost and Found, I think, called A Proper Wizard. I bought Jurassic Park. I watched the movie for the first time. The strange thing, I love dinosaurs. I have always loved dinosaurs, but I'd never seen Jurassic Park. I'd seen Jurassic World, but not Jurassic Park. Uh, so me and Sean watched it the other day and it was amazing and I loved it. And then I, I, there's a book, so I got the book. And I'll be reading the book next month. Uh, repeat on my TBR is The Rage of Dragons. This cover, it feels so soft. Um, it's not, it's like matte rather than shiny. Uh, second book, uh, the second book, the next book, uh, is The Rag Witch by Garth Nix. Now, uh, this book I read when I was younger and it was, uh, the copy that I had was my grandma's, but I wanted my own, so I bought one. That's all there is to that story. Uh, the next one is An Unkindness of Magicians. Uh, this, sit back a bit. Uh, this book was recommended to me by one of my favorite uh, booktubers, which is Murphy. You might have, you might know her. I, I would be surprised if you don't. Uh, she really recommended this book and I th love the cover. I think it's absolutely stunning how it kind of wraps around. 10 out of 10. So yeah, it'll be really interesting to read this soon. The Hunger Games, a series I have not yet read. Uh, I have now bought so I can read. Uh, this book also appeared on my TBR, but this is a book I bought recently. Sorcery, another book that um, I still have yet to start this month. Uh, Again, let's see, a lot of these books have been on, on my TBR because I need to read them, but this is my book haul. I don't need to keep mentioning that. The next one is A uh, Court of Ruin, which is, no, yeah, A Court of Wings in Ruin, which is the third book to uh, the Court series. Um, I have actually, I didn't know what to expect from this series, and I've been really enjoying it so far. This will be read next month, but I bought this book. To read it. A couple more Terry Pratchett books that I bought this month. We have Guards Guards with another amazing cover I think. Uh, these new hardback covers by Terry Pratchett I'm just in love with so much especially when there's just that little hint of metallic like dragon just 10 out of 10 and also Good Omens. Something I actually just well I noticed just before starting this video um, I don't know if, how well you'll be able to see it, but this book is like textured. Whereas this book has no texture. Now, I don't know if it's because uh, Good Omens isn't a part of like the Discworld series, so maybe only the Discworld books are textured, but it was something I noticed and I thought I'd, I'd share that with you guys. A very useless piece of information. Where I've been quite, I've really, well so far, the books of Sarah J Mass I've been really enjoying, so I thought I would try her very first series of A Throne of Glass. I bought it in hardback that I didn't realise and I'm kind of annoyed with myself, but it's hardback it is. I might just take off the uh, sleeve completely I'm not sure we'll see. A Throne of Glass is another book I have bought and once I've finished the court series I suppose I will be starting this one next. Now for those who uh, have watched my TBR video I have just I put on Six of Crows which I have just finished last night so I obviously needed the next book in the series. Um, again this just this just this cover is absolutely gorgeous in my opinion I love it I don't know why it's like it's busy but it's simple and this, whereas uh, there was no mourners, no funerals, I now know what that means. On the back, this one is when you can't beat the odds, change the game. So I wonder, I wonder if it's Kaz Brecker who says that because that sounds like a very Kaz Brecker thing to say. But yes, 
Doctor Who Kingdom, the next in the series. I believe a third book is coming out soon, so maybe it was a good time to get into this series. This next book, I don't regret buying, although I maybe, maybe I do, because last month I bought The Sandman, book one, or The Omnibus, after no, not reading the comics, and I just wanted all of them, and the cover was pretty, so I bought it. And I haven't started it yet. This is uh, still the first comic is still on my TBR, and I will be reading it very maybe today. I have I have a free day today, so maybe I'll read it today. But unlike a probably very reasonable person to try the first book of the massive series, um, I bought the second one because I don't know why. I, I genuinely don't know why I bought this. I haven't even started book one, but I just needed the and there's a third, and I'm holding myself back from buying it because I haven't even started the series. I could hate it and but the, but the books <laughs> I don't I need help. Oh no. The next book I have is another uh Judge Book Bites cover book which I've yet started. I kind of left them at my dad's house um when I left for work. So this is Viper. I have no idea what this book's about, but it's just something about the cover. I th again, I think it's metallic. Metallic and like plain, but also not plain. I don't know if I'm explaining that well, but it's just, this will be read very soon. And I have, yes, just, I think it's very cool. My Discord, well not my, not my Discord group, I don't own it, uh, but the Discord group for Murphy Murphy's site, um, after I'd finished the Mistborn trilogy, which, Best series I've ever read, hands down. Ooh, no, can I say that? It's one of my favourite series. Just tangent, uh, I really love the, the Tales of Ixia series, the, the Poison Study books that I've talked about before. So I need to reread them and find out if the Mistborn series has overtaken that as my favourite series. But, tangent over, um, I bought The Secret History much smaller i know and I, I was i was told it was a novella but it i suppose it didn't quite it's very bright didn't quite realize how small this book would be and um, because i bought the other books in hardback i bought this in hardback not think remembering that this isn't a special edition cover so my next mistborn book because this is a continuation from the what I didn't realise when I first started reading uh, Mistborn is that the the six books, seven if you include this one, uh, but three of them is kind of like era one of Mistborn, and then the second, the second trilogy I guess is an era two. And this kind of takes place uh, at the same time as is the same as era one. So I'm going to continue the era one, read a couple books, and then I'll probably get into era two of Mistborn. With that rambling. Uh, secret history, Mistborn. What the secret is yet? I do not know. Continuing on with the Brandon Sanderson train, I have bought Skyward, which uh, is going to be my next Sanderson series. I know the second book, uh, Skyward? No, this is Skyward. Starlight. I think it's called Star Oh God. <laughs> yeah, Starlight. I have that on order. I think it'll be arriving in October. So, I'm gonna read Skyward. I'm then going to probably pick up uh, the Stormlight Archive. And this is the Stormlight Archive. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know much about Sanderson books so far. Mistborn has been fantastic, so I'm excited to read more. Um, and I love this cover. I was sad that they didn't have like a special edition hardback like the Mistborn. Um, so I just got this in paperback. But still, I this. I think it's the art style. It's just absolutely beautiful. And again, with the little bit of little bit of gold, um, metallic, it just hits. It hits all the box. Ticks hits. It ticks all the boxes for me. Um, yeah, Skyward. Very excited. I am surrounded by books right now, and I couldn't be happier. And most recent book that I've bought, uh, which is one I I didn't think to read for some reason, um, is and then there was none by Agatha Christie. My grandma loves watching Praro and Miss Marple on. Like the televised dramas that they've made of them and i used to watch them with her so i really enjoy the kind of agatha christie tales and i don't know why i just never thought to read the book so 
uh, when I when I was on Discord, itchy eyebrow. Um, when I was on Discord, people said that, and then and then there was no one was really good book uh, book street, so I bought them, and now I have it, and I'll be reading it uh, next month probably because not next month June July July. It is currently June. I'll be reading it in July. But that is it for my TB, not my TBR. Got them. Uh, that is it for my book haul this month. I bought way too many books. I'm now going to try and hold them all up, and it's going to be impossible. Because, my god, there are so many. Um, dude, this will do. <laughs> Not all of them. These ones too. But that's it for this uh, this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, um, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe. Stay awesome. Later's. <laughs>